capacitors have many uses in electronic and electrical systems. They are so ubiquitous that it is rare that an electrical product does not include at least one for some purpose. Energy storage A capacitor can store electric energy when it is connected to its charging circuit. And when it is disconnected from its charging circuit, it can dissipate that stored energy, so it can be used like a temporary battery. Capacitors are commonly used in electronic devices to maintain power supply while batteries are being changed. Conventional electrostatic capacitors provide less than 360 joules per kilogram of energy density, while capacitors using developing technology can provide more than 2.52 kilojoules per kilogram. In car audio systems, large capacitors store energy for the amplifier to use on demand. An uninterruptible power supply can be equipped with maintenance-free capacitors to extend service life. Pulsed power and weapons, groups of large, specially constructed, low-inductance high-voltage capacitors are used to supply huge pulses of current for many pulsed power applications. These include electromagnetic forming, marks generators, pulsed lasers, pulse forming networks, fusion research, and particle accelerators. Large capacitor banks are used as energy sources for the exploding bridge wire detonators or slapper detonators in nuclear weapons and other speciality weapons. Experimental work is underway using banks of capacitors as power sources for electromagnetic armor and electromagnetic rail guns or coil guns. Power conditioning Reservoir capacitors are used in power supplies where they smooth the output of a full or half-wave rectifier. They can also be used in charge pump circuits as the energy storage element in the generation of higher voltages than the input voltage. Capacitors are connected in parallel with the DC power circuits of most electronic devices to smooth current fluctuations for signal or control circuits. Audio equipment, for example, uses several capacitors in this way to shunt away power line hum before it gets into the signal circuitry. The capacitors act as a local reserve for the DC power source, and bypass AC currents from the power supply. This is used in car audio applications, when a stiffening capacitor compensates for the inductance and resistance of the leads to the lead acid car battery. Equals power factor correction equals, in electric power distribution, capacitors are used for power factor correction. Such capacitors often come as three capacitors connected as a three-phase load. Usually, the values of these capacitors are given not in farads but rather as a reactive power in volt amperes reactive. The purpose is to counteract inductive loading from devices like electric motors and transmission lines to make the load appear to be mostly resistive. Individual motor or lamp loads may have capacitors for power factor correction or larger sets of capacitors may be installed at a load center within a building or in a large utility substation. In high-voltage direct current transmission systems, power factor correction capacitors may have tuning inductors to suppress harmonic currents that would otherwise be injected into the AC power system. Suppression and coupling equals signal coupling equals Because capacitors pass AC but block DC signals, they are often used to separate the AC and DC components of a signal. This method is known as AC coupling or capacitive coupling. Here, a large value of capacitance, whose value need not be accurately controlled, but whose reactance is small at the signal frequency, is employed. Equals decoupling equals. A decoupling capacitor is a capacitor used to decouple one part of a circuit from another. Noise caused by other circuit elements is shunted through the capacitor, reducing the effect they have on the rest of the circuit. It is most commonly used between the power supply and ground. An alternative name is bypass capacitor as it is used to bypass the power supply or other high impedance component of a circuit. Equals high pass and low pass filters equals. Equals noise filters and snubbers equals, when an inductive circuit is opened, the current through the inductance collapses quickly, creating a large voltage across the open circuit of the switch or relay. If the inductance is large enough, the energy will generate an electric spark, causing the contact points to oxidize, deteriorate, or sometimes weld together, or destroying a solid-state switch. 
a snubber capacitor across the newly opened circuit creates a path for this impulse to bypass the contact points, thereby preserving their life. These were commonly found in contact breaker ignition systems, for instance. Similarly, in smaller scale circuits, the spark may not be enough to damage the switch but will still radiate undesirable radio frequency interference, which a filter capacitor absorbs. Snubber capacitors are usually employed with a low value resistor in series, to dissipate energy and minimize RFI. Such resistor capacitor combinations are available in a single package. Capacitors are also used in parallel to interrupt units of a high voltage circuit breaker in order to equally distribute the voltage between these units. In this case they are called grading capacitors. In schematic diagrams, a capacitor used primarily for DC charge storage is often drawn vertically in circuit diagrams with the lower, more negative, plate drawn as an arc. The straight plate indicates the positive terminal of the device, if it is polarized. Motor starters. In single phase squirrel cage motors, the primary winding within the motor housing is not capable of starting a rotational motion on the rotor, but is capable of sustaining one. To start the motor, a secondary winding is used in series with a non polarized starting capacitor to introduce a lag in the sinusoidal current through the starting winding. When the secondary winding is placed at an angle with respect to the primary winding, a rotating electric field is created. The force of the rotational field is not constant, but is sufficient to start the rotor spinning. When the rotor comes close to operating speed, a centrifugal switch disconnects the capacitor. The start capacitor is typically mounted to the side of the motor housing. These are called capacitor start motors, and have relatively high starting torque. There are also capacitor run induction motors which have a permanently connected phase shifting capacitor in series with a second winding. The motor is much like a two phase induction motor. Motor starting capacitors are typically non polarized electrolytic types, while running capacitors are conventional paper or plastic film dielectric types. Signal processing The energy stored in capacitor can be used to represent information either in binary form, as in DRAMs or in analog form, as in analog sampled filters and CCDs. Capacitors can be used in analog circuits as components of integrators or more complex filters and in negative feedback loop stabilization. Signal processing circuits also use capacitors to integrate a current signal. Equals tuned circuits equals, capacitors and inductors are applied together in tuned circuits to select information in particular frequency bands. For example, radio receivers rely on variable capacitors to tune the station frequency. Speakers use passive analog crossovers, and analog equalizers use capacitors to select different audio bands. The resonant frequency f of a tuned circuit is a function of the inductance and capacitance in series, and is given by where L is in Henry's and C is in Farad's. Sensing most capacitors are designed to maintain a fixed physical structure. However, various factors can change the structure of the capacitor. The resulting change in capacitance can be used to sense those factors. Equals changing the dielectric equals, the effects of varying the characteristics of the dielectric can also be used for sensing and measurement. Capacitors with an exposed and porous dielectric can be used to measure humidity in air. Capacitors are used to accurately measure the fuel level in airplanes. As the fuel covers more of a pair of plates, the circuit capacitance increases. Equals changing the distance between the plates equals, a capacitor with a flexible plate can be used to measure strain or pressure or weight. Industrial pressure transmitters used for process control use pressure sensing diagrams, which form a capacitor plate of an oscillator circuit. Capacitors are used as the sensor and condenser microphones, where one plate is moved by air pressure, relative to the fixed position of the other plate. Some accelerometers use microelectromechanical systems capacitors etched on a chip to measure the magnitude and direction of the acceleration vector. They are used to detect changes in acceleration, for example as tilt sensors or to detect free fall, as sensors triggering airbag deployment, and in many other applications. Some fingerprint sensors use capacitors. Additionally, 
a user can adjust the pitch of a theremin musical instrument by moving his hand since this changes the effective capacitance between the user's hand and the antenna. Equals changing the effective area of the plates equals, capacitive touch switches are now used on many consumer electronic products. Oscillators a capacitor can possess spring-like qualities in an oscillator circuit. In the image example, a capacitor acts to influence the biasing voltage at the NPN transistor's base. The resistance values of the voltage divider resistors and the capacitance value of the capacitor together control the oscillatory frequency. Hazards and safety, capacitors may retain a charge long after power is removed from a circuit. This charge can cause dangerous or even potentially fatal shocks or damage connected equipment. For example, even a seemingly innocuous device such as a disposable camera flash unit powered by a 1.5 volt AA battery contains a capacitor which may be charged to over 300 volts. This is easily capable of delivering a shock. Service procedures for electronic devices usually include instructions to discharge large or high voltage capacitors. Capacitors may also have built-in discharge resistors to dissipate stored energy to a safe level within a few seconds after power is removed. High voltage capacitors are stored with the terminals shorted, as protection from potentially dangerous voltages due to dielectric absorption. Some old, large oil-filled capacitors contain polychlorinated biphenyls. It is known that waste PCBs can leak into groundwater under landfills. Capacitors containing PCB were labeled as containing Ascaril, and several other trade names. PCB-filled capacitors are found in very old fluorescent lamp ballasts, and other applications. High-voltage capacitors may catastrophically fail when subjected to voltages or currents beyond their rating, or as they reach their normal end of life. Dielectric or metal interconnection failures may create arcing that vaporizes dielectric fluid, resulting in case bulging, rupture, or even an explosion. Capacitors used in RF or sustained high current applications can overheat, especially in the center of the capacitor rolls. Capacitors used within high energy capacitor banks can violently explode when a short in one capacitor causes sudden dumping of energy stored in the rest of the bank into the failing unit. High voltage vacuum capacitors can generate soft X-rays even during normal operation. Proper containment, fusing, and preventive maintenance can help to minimize these hazards. High voltage capacitors can benefit from a pre-charge to limit inrush currents at power up of high voltage direct current circuits. This will extend the life of the component and may mitigate high voltage hazards. References Next Gen Car Solution Scientists expand uses for electrostatic capacitor, industrial-europe.com